Games these days include an online component that connects your young ones with people from all over. And New York's Attorney General is continuing his crusade to limit just who can be on the other end of that gaming console. A lot of video games out there these days are geared for adults. Look at the ratings. M is for mature, T is for teen, E is for everyone. But what's not for everyone is the online gaming community. An online experience can't even be rated because it's basically a free-for-all. The big draw point is the online play, the team death match, the free-for-all, all all that kind of stuff will drive really people pick it up every single year. Ibrahim Abdul Rahman from Pastime Legends in Scotia says games like Call of Duty are wildly popular with the online community right now. You get the game, get your headset, and play and talk with others from just about anywhere. Despite the ratings, there are kids who will get an M game for Christmas. Call of Duty where everyone's running around shooting each other, swearing up a storm, which is nothing a little kid should be hearing. But there's something else Attorney General Eric Schneiderman is worried about, the potential for sex offenders to use online gaming as a means to contact young players. There's a study out there that shows about 30% of uh, all gamers engage with individuals they don't know. Marty Mack, Executive Deputy Attorney General, says the AG's office is continuing its efforts to rid the online gaming community of child predators by providing gaming companies like Microsoft, Sony, and Electronic Arts with the names of sex offenders so any online profiles they have can be deleted. And now we're up to about 5,600 names on the sexual offender list who are now purged from engaging in these online games. Max says the state's e-stop law requires sex offenders to report any email addresses or other means of online communication to the state. Of course, there's still the chance someone will not comply, and both Marty and Ibrahim agree. That's where parents need to fill the gap. I think that is definitely a good first step, but it definitely does start at home with the parents paying more attention to what the kids are playing. Uh, the Attorney General's initiative titled Game Over first began about six months ago. Just this week, five additional companies agreed to work with the state to ban the so-called gamer tags of sex offenders.